All right, I have no idea if this is an intro or if this is something else, like a at the end of the last video or something like that, or if this is a filler video or if this is an actual part. But uh, I'm gonna do a bug catching contest because you know why the hell not? Um, basically, once you get to the National Pokédex, you can get uh, basically you can get Pokémon that are you can get you uh, for first place you can get different evolutionary stones other than just a Sunstone. You can get Water Stones, Dusk Stones. Any kind of evolutionary stone, really. Even oval stones for Chansey, technically. Um, though we already dealt with that problem a long time ago. I'm hoping to get the water stone from this at some point, but uh, if I don't get it in this contest, I'll just do it off screen. And uh, also, the Pokemon are higher level here now, so I'm just going to kind of show off which ones are good to get. In fact, actually, a level 36 Weedle is perfect, so uh, high level Weedles or Scythers or Pincers I find to be the best option. Preferably the Weedles slash Caterpies at level 36, because they're the easiest ones to catch. In fact, I probably can get this on the first try. So, uh, look at that. Very expedient bug catching contest right there. Just get the one I want right away, and, you know, hopefully, Mr. Weedle, you're going to be a winner. I hope I have high hopes for you, Mr. Weedle. You're level 36. Level, it does play a pretty big factor, so that's why a uh, max level Weedle. And, uh, they're, they're rare, the level 36 ones. They range from, like, 27 to 36 or so, maybe even less, but, uh, they're, they're pretty good actually. And, uh, high-level Pokemon, you know, I, it wouldn't take long to train that thing up to, uh, you know, be on my team if I wanted to, but obviously I don't, so, uh... Alright, so third place so far so good. If I'm not second, then I've definitely gotten first. And, yeah, I've definitely gotten first. So, I actually beat the Pinsir, surprisingly. Uh, we don't care if you might be the best option, honestly, for level 36, so... Maybe? Who knows? And, uh, yep, we win, and we get... Okay, so we got an Oval Stone from that, actually, so if I didn't have the Oval Stone, I would have, uh, gotten it here. But alas, I have not, so, uh, I'm gonna name this Weedle, and then we'll, uh, I'm, I'll just do it in between videos, um, or not in between, but I'm gonna cut for training after I do a couple other things, like catch the Entei, so, uh, we'll do this here, so, what, what are you, you're, you are going to be, uh, you're gonna be the typical YouTube troll, you're gonna be a YouTube troll, and you're gonna be like, hey guys, I'm first, he goes like, first, yeah, actually, no, we go, like, exclamation, no, be, go, exclamation, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, uh, one, exclamation mark, because that's how they do it. So, <laughs> welcome to the team, you horrible abomination of a Pokemon. I'm just terrified by this thing. So, uh, yeah, now that we've dealt with that, now that we've dealt with that, uh, next on the list is the Safari Zone, which I have no idea what I'm doing because I've never done the Safari Zone in a long time, so, uh... I don't even remember how this even works, so we're just gonna figure this out blind, because that's what I can do. So, uh... Yeah, let's just, let's just let's just go in here and see what the heck he was talking about last video, or this video. Or, actually, am I cut? I don't even know if I'm cutting and making this into a different thing. I guess I'm not now. Whatever, so, uh, object range. I don't even know what this is. Oh, you, I guess you can... Um, oh, you place objects and get different kinds of Pokemon, so, uh, yes, tell me stuff. So you can put objects around, that's actually kind of cool, I didn't realize you could do that, that's actually pretty neat. So, uh, yeah, you just place objects, I guess, uh, let's look at object types. So, like, grass trees and water and boulder, that, that's cool, you can actually, like, super customize the Safari Zone. That's actually kind of cool. Not that I ever really used the Safari... I've never really used the Safari Zone in Heart Gold Soul Server, so I don't really know that much about it. But, uh, let's just, let's just try it. Let's try it. Let's just see how this goes. So, uh, I guess we do it here, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, okay, so let's just... let's go to the desert. Let's, uh, is it sort? We'll, 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 do, we'll do a forest. So, uh, wait, where do you go to put the objects in? I don't understand. Okay, yeah, 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 great, great, um... What, what do you... How do you do this? Give me a moment. Oh, I think you do it while you're in the Safari Zone. Oh, okay. So, uh, you, you need to actually be in the Safari Zone to place objects, I think. So, we're gonna try this. So, it's just this is just the episode of all the different ways to catch Pokemon that are a bit unorthodox, I suppose. Whereas the bug catching had this, and now this, which is similar but not quite the same. So, we're in the forest. This is the forest area. So, uh, okay, so you can place objects. So I can place, I can place a shrubbery. Uh, we're gonna place outside lamp because I don't know, just because it's an outside lamp. Sure. And we're gonna place an object here. We're gonna place a shrubbery because it's a shrubbery. I guess you can't do it anywhere that there's uh, stairs or uh, grass. So 
Um, this seems like a good spot for a bench. I don't know why. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, to be honest. But uh, you can just do kind of crazy stuff like this. How many, how many, okay, we just have these six options for now. <laughs> I can put our flag here. Wow. Let's just be super egotistical here. We're just going to put a shit ton of our flags around here. Just, I am going to be everywhere. I'm going to be all sorts of everywhere. And this is going to be a nightmare to edit, I've just realized. But you know what? Screw me. I'm just going to make my life horrible because, you know, I'm a dick to my future self. Future Lucky, I'm laughing at you. You poor, miserable man. <laughs> I'm just going to keep putting my flags around here. Because it's just so funny and so sad. Why do I have a flag? I don't understand. Okay, I, ha I have the, like, Waluigi symbol. So this is, this is, give us something new then we can get here. We can get, like, Haunters here now. I don't know if this is, like, if that's affected by things, but, uh, I don't know. It's just an interesting thing, I guess, you can do in the Safari Zone. So, uh, I guess we show that off. Yeah. Show that Safari Zone. So now that we're done with this, yeah, I don't care. I don't, I can't catch a Pokemon here anyway. It's not pertinent to my journey. Um... But it's a, it's a cool way to catch Pokemon otherwise, but uh, usually all these Pokemon you can catch somewhere else, so... By the way, you can get Quick Balls from one of these people. I forget which one it is, and frankly, I don't care. So, uh, I think actually it's this person down here. I guess we can quickly check. It's you, right? I, th I think it's you. Right? This is, I can get well, Quick Balls, right? Yes. And Dust Balls as well, which I never realized you can get Dust Balls here, though. would make my life a lot easier! But the last thing to do is uh, basically to do what we did with Raikou and uh, catch an Entei. So I'm going to go fly and go meet him, so I'll meet up with you guys when I see him for the first time. Oh, that's right. Uh, by the way, this guy comes back. So, uh, you know what the hell? Let's just catch a pseudo Wodo. Just for shits and giggles. Just because we can. I, I guess, I, I don't know what I'm doing in this video anymore at this point, so, uh, yeah, basically anything that can, anything that's a one-time only catch will respawn every time you beat the Elite Four. So that includes the pseudo Widow. we haven't caught it, so, uh, I'm just gonna bring in Roger here and it's gonna learn Mimic, and it's going to mimic my Hypnosis, that's obnoxious. Wow, hit a freaking Hypnosis, you, wow, Roger, I bring you in for two seconds, and you already fail. Wow, Roger. Wow, no one can hit Hypnosis. There we go. So, uh, I don't know why I'm showing this in, really. I, I, I really don't know why, but, um, it's a thing. So, uh, I guess I'm just going to show it off because, because I can't. Because why not? Wow, that did nothing. Wow, he woke up already. Wow, Roger, you're kind of bad at this. <laughs> this is so funny how he's missing every hypnosis ever. I'm just gonna put him to sleep. This is the most. Why am I wasting time on this? I don't. Well, Lucky, why do you get yourself in these situations where you start doing stupid stuff? Why? I, I don't know why. Why'd you use hypnosis again, you dummy? I'm just gonna wake up and you're just gonna kill you and it's gonna be really dumb. Why am I putting him to sleep before I kill? I should just try to get him killed at this point. Because this is just silly. Just kill him. Well, not kill him, but uh, get him low enough so I can catch him. Man, I have so many other things I need to do in this video, too. So it's like, I'm just purposely extending this video to massive lengths for no reason whatsoever. Ever. And also, this guy has stayed asleep for a very long time. And this flail is probably going to hurt a lot. Owie. Actually, it didn't hurt too much. Hypnosis worked. Yay! And now he goes back to sleep. Uh, as long as he doesn't wake up very soon, I can just sort of, like, get him down pretty quickly here. And that'll be good. So, we'll just keep going for fan attacks, and hopefully he'll stay asleep for, like, two or three turns, and that'll be enough to, uh, get him to the red zone. In fact, that's actually in the red zone right here, so I don't want to take a chance on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and attempt to catch him. I don't think... I think he's too heavy for the, uh... Or he's too light for the heavy ball. I could be wrong on that, don't quote me on that, but uh, that's my thought. So, hopefully we can just get this first try. It's an Ultra Ball on a sleeping Pseudowoto. Yeah. So, uh, there we go. That's how you catch a Pseudowoto, because I never show that off. I figured I may as well do that. It'd be cool to get a Bonsly. I wouldn't ever use him at this point, but uh, Pseudowoto's a funny Pokemon. Just a funny little thing. We're going to call him... We're just going to call him Funny Thing, because I don't have creativity right now. 
We're gonna call him. We're we're gonna, we're gonna be country. We're gonna be we're gonna be country here. I've been watching way too much of the voice lately. That's why. We're gonna call him Funny Thang because he's a thang. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. Okay, Todd. What do you want from me? Speaking of which, if if there's gonna be battles, I'm going to do them in this video as well. After I train my Pokemon, just to premiere Altaria and Ludicolo for a little bit, because that's the plan. So, um, I think he's like over here, right? Is he still over here? Actually, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this. God damn it! All right, encounter number one. Uh, there you are, Mr. Entei. Uh, the sleep better work. Come on, Hypnos, it's just a hit. I want, I want to see the reason I'm bringing Rob Raja is I want to put him to sleep because I think it's funny when the thing's like, "Hey, I'm an Entei. I'm asleep," and then he still runs away because then it's like a giant purpose sleeping Entei just running around the world, which is hilarious. So, uh, yeah. What I'm going to do now, just to save time from last time, I'm not going to show me whittling it down every time. I'm just going to cut to the point where I actually catch it. That's the plan. So, uh, I will see you guys then. A very long time from now. Alright, so it's time to catch Entei. Really, I think I was just a little hasty of Raikou, because look at this. You can get to a really low sliver if you really want to. So, really low sliver to sleep, which is actually better than paralysis. I just prefer paralysis because it's permanent as opposed to sleep, which isn't against most legendaries except for Entei. Um... So, really at this point, I'm in pretty good shape. I would be really surprised if Pokeball didn't catch him. Now, just listen to this theme. This theme is awesome. It's, it's like a more like slowed down, more sort of steady version of the theme, while Raikou's is more powerful, and Suicune's going to end up being more fluid when we actually get to catching Suicune, which isn't by uh, running around like this. It's a different way to catch Suicune in this game. So, But we'll get to the whole Suicune thing later on. For now, we're just going to catch this Entei. At this ra with this range, the odds are pretty high. Yeah, not even a problem. So, get it down to a, a, as much of a sliver as you can, and use a quick ball. It makes it really, really easy. You only have to do it maybe two or three times to actually catch him. So, uh, not too hard to catch Entei in the end, as long as you know what you're doing. You can get him pretty early on in the game. Uh, I mean, the place where you catch, where you find him, at um, Churkiak, blah 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 city, um, it's actually really good for uh, that. So. What sort of derpy name am I going to give him? We gave Snarf to Raikou, so, uh... I could just be, I was be like, I could be Snarf Snarf. That's that's not really that funny. <laughs> he's going to be he's gonna be Snurf. We're going to have Snarf and Snurf. And then, I don't know what I'm going to do for the other one, but he's like, he's like Papa Snurf. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I should not be trying to catch Entei so late at night. So... There's your 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 other legendary beast. We've gotten both of them now. There is going to be another running legendary at some point, but that's not going to happen until way later in the game. So uh, we will deal with that when it comes to that. But for now, I'm not going to say I'm going to sign out yet because I'm probably going to do some trainers in this video as well. The ones that uh, the rematches I have left over. Um, but I'm going to train my Pokemon first. So I will see you at the end of the training. We're going to get everyone to level 48. Doubt there's going to be any really major changes. Um, mostly just going to be Ludicolo's evolution. That's it. Alright YouTube, I am back in, uh, in between in between me recording stuff and showing you stuff. I uh, off screen got a water stone, so we will, but we will deal with that later, because why did that? I learned something rather important. And that's that you can get Sue and Hoenn Pokemon in uh, the butt catching contest. Just not on Tuesdays, which is the one day that you can't, which is the one day I did because I just do stuff like that. So I'm going to show off a uh, Saturday bug catching contest that Thursday also works, where we will have Hoenn and Sinnoh Pokemon, which I just noticed if you combine Hoenn and Sinnoh, you get Ho-Oh. That's kind of funny. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to show off to show the type of Pokemon you can get. I'll, uh, I'm not going to get first place on purpose. I'm purposely going to get, like, nothing place, because I want to show you what happens when you get nothing place. You actually get a decent item when you have the National Pokedex, uh... So I'm going to show that off. In case you're wondering, third place is a Citrus Berry, and second place is still an Everstone. Uh, and obviously first place is any of the Evolutionary Stones. Which eventually I got a Water Snow from it. But as you can see, you can get Pokemon like Illumise, uh, its counterpart Volbeat, uh, the third generation bug line of Wormpool, Cascoon, Dustox, Silicoon, Beautifly. Um, you have the Krigatok, Krigatoon line from 4th gen, as well as the Combi line from 4th gen. Um, well, you can't catch a Vespaquin. You also have Scyther and Pinsir. If you want to win, oh, you have Nikata as well. Anything level 35, 36 um, of the, you know, not so good stuff, a Scyther or a Pinsir, um, I think like a level 32 Krikatoon, or level 32 Beautifly and blah blah blah, uh, I think Combe goes up to 34, anything that's close to its max level, 
um, is really good. I'm, I'm looking for something that's like low level because I want to make sure I get some bad stuff. But like I said, Cricket Tunes here. So anything that's like really high level and uh, is, is really going to do you well because it, 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 it bases points based on their level according to the max level you can catch in the area. Uh, Scyther and Pinsir are always good. Anything that's like level 35, 36, also very good. Those are the two I'd recommend. Even at level 34, Cascade's probably not going to cut it. Really, your best bets though are 36 and or a Scyther or Pinsir. Those ones will almost always give you first place. Um, and obviously they catch you at full health. So that's basically how you win in the Sinoho and one. It's very similar to the uh, other one in how you do that. Okay, we're going for level 28 Cascoon. Now the reason I brought Arbok here is because I am going to now weaken the shit out of this thing in order to make it not very good. I'm going to give it a status condition, I'm going to bite it, and all sorts of nasty stuff just to make sure, you know, that I do not get third place and that I actually get like last place because I don't want to win. I want to do horrible. Um, because if you do horrible, you actually get something good. So uh, ironically enough, you want to kind of go against uh, what you'd want. I'm going to go ahead and just let this guy get some defense up and uh, do that sort of stuff. But yeah, you can catch all sorts of um, awesome Pokemon, like, like you saw Ninkata, uh, Combase here. Vesp um, Ninkata's, if, if you want um, Pokemon I re recommend for your playthrough, Ninkata with the Shin Ninja and the Ninjask are pretty good. Oh, but you can cure your paralysis. Well, that's not cool. Don't do that. I want you to be paralyzed and stuff. Um, of course, the one Pokemon I want to be like all shitty in the bug catching contest won't even let me get it shitty. And then I crit it! Wow! Just epic fail. Epic, epic fail. I can't even properly catch a bug in a bug catching contest. I am truly a failure at life. You know, I'll just, um, I'll be back when I get something that's worth catching. Alright, you're properly shitty. I'll, uh, go ahead and catch you. Poor Wormple, I call it shitty. Um... Yeah, considering the max level is 36, it's still pretty far down. I'm going to weaken it. It's just a Wurmple, which is... Don't die. Okay. That's all I need to do. Uh, I brought Arbok because I can't get poisoned. Yay me. Um, and it's also not very effective. So, well, obviously it's poison effective against poison. But I'm going to go ahead and paralyze this guy. And now I'm going to catch it. And if this doesn't catch, I will probably shed a brick. Because I would be really surprised if this didn't catch. That'd just be... You just crit me. Well, that's awfully rude. Anyway, just going straight for the sport ball gonna catch this thing, and then we'll turn in our very shitty Wormpool. Wormpool? That's that's not how you say it. It's Wormpool, not Wormpool. It's a Whirlpool! I'm gonna call it Whirlpool now. Yeah, now that we've decided the random nickname to give this guy. Um, so let's go ahead. We're gonna just turn it in. Uh, I've given a decent showing of the Pokemon you can catch here, so uh, we'll go ahead and show it off. Uh, you can get Scyther and Pinsir here as well. Um, they will show up, and they're pretty much like an instant win if you get them, so... That's an easy first place for you if you want to get an Evolutionary Stone this way. Honestly, the uh, Pokeathlon's the best way to get Evolutionary Stones. Alright, if I didn't get third, there's no way in hell I got anything. So, uh, as you can see, I did absolutely shit. I don't know if you can get a Venonara Paris here. I think that's kind of like cheating, because I don't think... I, I don't remember ever seeing them. I'm pretty sure you don't get Venonara Paris here, so... A bit weird, I guess, they show up in the prize anyway. But you actually get a Shed Shell. Which isn't the worst thing to put on things. Uh, I'll show what it does in just a second. But uh, we're going to call this guy Whirlpool, like I said. So uh, I'm wasting so much time here. Like, wait, so much time. So much time is being wasted. Anyway, here Whirlpool. Ha <laughs> i just going to go kill myself now. Anyways, are we, can we, are we done? Can we move again? Thank you. So, a Shed Shell. What does a Shed Shell do, you ask? Well, it's a one-time use thing that uh, allows you to switch with a Pokemon in battle, which is kind of useful because of some Pokemon, like, like for example, if they use Rap, or if they use Mean Look, or if we're against the Wobbuffet, or a Pokemon of Arena Trap, or a Pokemon of Magnapole, there's been times you've seen in the past where I've been trapped in a battle that I didn't want to be. If you equip this item to your Pokemon, you can get out instantly. So, um, it's not a horrible one, it's actually a decent item to get competitive-wise, so, uh, that's how you get it in this game, if you want it. I guess I might as well just thought I'd go ahead and show it off. Now, anyway, before we evolve Lombre, there's two, of those, there's two other ways you can catch Hoenn and Sinnoh Pokemon, and I'm going to demonstrate them, which involves some time travel, so be right back. Alright, I am back. It is now Wednesday, at least according to the game. Um, and on Wednesdays, and on Thursdays, but Wednesdays for Hoenn, uh, Thursdays for Sinnoh, I'll demonstrate both. And I also turned, turned the code off to show this off, just so you guys are wondering. Uh, so the code's off. This is, this is a normal game right now. Uh, what you can do is you go to your Pokegear, 
And once you have the national decks, um, if you go to Pokemon Music on a Wednesday, you will have the Pokemon Music channel, which will play the Hoenn sound on Wednesdays, which uh, will cause Hoenn Pokemon to appear in the wild instead of normal Pokemon. So if we go in the, over here, I think it works in the National Park, you'll you'll find something that is not from Hoenn, because this everything is a lie. I, don't think, I think it causes them to show up, but not always. So let me run around and see if I can uh, get a Hoenn Pokemon to appear. There we go. So this is a Hoenn Pokemon. Uh, maybe it just doesn't work in the National Park, which is annoying though, because every time you go into a battle, you have to actually reset the sound. So, uh, but there we go. That's a demonstration of a Hoenn Pokemon that you can appear in the wild. It, well, I think it works most places. I don't know the details. It's something you have to look up to see which, po which Hoenn Pokemon appear where. But basically, you can now make net normal routes, turn to Blaze to get Hoenn Pokemon. Let's just, let's just do one more. And then I'll move it to Sinnoh, and I'll demonstrate a Sinnoh Pokemon. But, uh, any other... Cool Pokemon that could appear. Okay, it's just gonna be another one of these. So yeah, like I said, you, you have to turn it back on every time, but it'll cause the, the Pokemon to appear to possibly be from Hoenn, which is kind of cool. So uh, there's that, I guess. Anyways, time travel once more. Be right back. All right, it is now Thursday, and on Thursday, um, this is nothing to do with this, this is the right spot. Go away. Um, on Thursday, we have the Sinnoh music. So as you can see, uh, Thursday's Pokemon music is a Sinnoh sound. Which is a remix of the Sinnoh uh, first route theme. They're both uh, remixes of the, of the first route of their respective games. Which can cause Sinnoh Pokemon to appear like a Shinx. And if I can ever get a Shinx in a random thing, I will be the happiest person ever. Because Shinx is just an awesome Pokemon. So, um... I love Shinx. So if you want a Shinx in HeartGold Soul Silver, there you go. I just showed you how you can get one in the normal playthrough. So, uh... Basically, that's all you need to do, too. So now that we've taken care of that, that's not the way I want to go. Okay, we can just listen to the cinema music for a while. But, um, basically, now that I've done that, it's time. We're we'll gonna go ahead and use the Water Stone and evolve this guy. And, uh, depending on how long this, this video is right now, I'm, I might put an extra part on where, uh, I show the results of the training, because I'm going to train everyone up to 48. And then I'm going to quickly take on all of the, uh, rem all the trainers who have called for rematches in the meantime. There's, like, three, there's, like, four of them, maybe. So I might just quickly show them off, either in this part or in an extra thing. Probably in this part, actually. I might just do, like, a speed-up version of it. But, uh, yeah, we have a Ludicolo now, which is awesome. I don't really need any other moves for him besides the ones I have. I might replace Hydro Pump of Surf. That's something I can decide later. And, uh, something I can decide at any point. His special attack is awesome, but, uh... Oh, Empoleon does outclass him, but he has, you know, he has pretty decent bulk... I say decent, because it's not the best in the world. Um, his special defense it would be a bit higher if it wasn't lowered. But um, his speed at stat is actually pretty good, though, compared to other water types I have. So he's actually be a faster water type I can use. As you can see, it's not too bad. In Rain Dance, it's going to double those, which is going to make him faster than pretty much everything. So because of that, he might actually make a decent sweeper for some of these type of trainers, because I just all I need it is a turn instead of Rain Dance. And then I can just go with Stab, Rain Dance, Boosted, Hydro Pumps on everything. Or Surf's if I want something that's a bit more reliable, because Surf's accuracy is like, er, it's only 80. You know, Nuzlocke, you probably want something that's not so unreliable. So I'm probably going to replace it with Surf, but I'll just decide that later. Um, so that's the plan for that, and I will uh, meet you guys with training in a little bit, possibly. So, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hey, so uh, while I was training... Bo 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 called again, and uh, he is he apparently has new objects, but I'm not gonna really show them off because there's really no reason to show off all the new objects. Just kind of seems. I, I, I guess maybe I actually got quickly show it off. I don't know. I don't know. Have I gotten this camera guy? I uh, I don't remember. So let's just go ahead and grab him just in case, and show off yet another useless camera scene because why the heck not? Kind of look like I have a fur in my head. It's kind of funny. Anyway, I guess I'll quickly do this, and I'm gonna teach myself a couple TMs, and then I'm gonna go finish training. So that's the plan. Uh, well, let's just go straight into this then. So just for five hundred dollars, oh man, I'm gonna pay for my own freaking thing, doing the work for him and paying him instead. That's like if, if you'd be like a janitor, you'd be like, I got the employer, would be like, oh, so you're gonna clean up my shit? Well, uh, you can pay me to do it. Just kind of completely makes perfect sense, but boa, douche. So now, like, what objects do we have? What additional objects do we have? We have... No, we already had shoveries, but, uh... We have stuff like signboards and fences and... Fences and fences and trees and stumps and fences and fences and trees and stumps and signboards. It's pretty exciting. Does the signboard actually see anything? Nope. 
It's a useless signboard. Anyway, I'm just gonna head back out of the safari zone because I don't give a shit. And uh, from here, we're going. Just, we're just gonna go, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead now and uh, give some items to some people and so on and so forth. And I need to remember to actually um, give some TMs to some people. I'm gonna give Earthquake to Altaria because it's really the best coverage move it has, and I just feel like it's a good move to put on it. So we're gonna do that and get rid of Dragon Dance because I don't need Dragon Dance. Like, it's a good move, but boosting moves in general in in game is just kind of like by the time you boost up anyway, it just doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna give Sludge Bomb. A lot of people have been like, why don't you give Sludge Bomb to PK? Because it's stronger on him than Fire Blast, and it's 100% accurate, and I kind of agree with that sentiment, so I'm going to go ahead and give Sludge Bomb to uh, Fire Blast instead of Fire Blast. Just because at this point, I don't expect to have any Pokemon that really need Sludge Bomb. If they, I do, then I just kind of screwed myself, so that's, that's always a fun time. Gonna save, gonna go back to training, goodbye!